In this lesson, I want to discuss the pancreatic ducts. Uh, those uh, the extracurricular ducts that are associated with our pancreas. And here, let me just make sure I label real quick pancreas in case we are uh, uh, the pancreas here. Here we have the spleen, but of course we're not going to be concerning ourselves with the spleen. But I did want to make sure that I had addressed these structures, at least a rough diagram diagrammatic sketch of these structures. And I want to begin myself using blue uh, to label a few of the major regions of our of our pancreas as we begin. And we have the head, the body, and the tail of the pancreas. Now, if we begin our cells with the ducts that are associated with them, the bulk of them will be running the entire length of our pancreas, and this is the pancreatic duct. Pretty simple. The other one that we have, I'll draw it in purple, comes off of it as the accessory duct on the top. So we have pancreatic duct and accessory duct. Now I can use this same diagram in a whole series to show you guys a few other diagrammatic features of the uh, pancreas and spleen, where we will discuss the splenic arteries and veins as they run over top of the, uh, of the pancreas itself leaving a little space here to give, give some connectivity here and keep these guys apart. But just remember, of course, the tail of the pancreas does fit right there at the hilum of the spleen. The hilum of the spleen will be right there. So anatomically, I have them separated just for simplicity so we can uh, exacerbate, situate this uh, distance. But this concludes my simple little video on the pancreatic ducts.